please, stay away. Oh god, this thing's beating the shit out of me. What happened? Difficulty spike. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Citadel, Gale of Souls. Uh, this actually has three chapters in this one game, which is pretty cool. Curse of Darkness, Gale of Souls. I guess we have to beat uh, one of these two in order to get the third one unlocked. But it is called the Citadel Trilogy, so I assume there's, there's three of them. There's this really cool like CRTV kind of mode. Uh, it is a little bit distracting, but I thought that I would show it off at the very least. And now we're back to, uh, regular, regular ass mode. The way the game is supposed to look without a filter, I suppose. We'll start up chapter one, we'll see how we can do. Here it comes. For evil to win, all that is required are good people doing nothing. Hey, I'm doing nothing. Hooray! I guess they're talking about me and that ancient proverb that was probably conceived before I was. Get it? Conceived? <laughs> like my mom got pregnant or whatever. Oh look, here's a story. You guys want to hear a story? Story time, yay! Centuries ago, the Dark Lord of the Old Lands was defeated. His body was torn to shreds and his evil banished to a realm of eternal darkness. I don't know why I always read stories like that. I guess it makes it sound cool. The remnants of his mortal vessel were sent to a faraway land by his own son to ensure that he may never return. This immortal warrior spent decades in complete solitude inside an old citadel watching over the remains of his father. One day, however, he met a young girl by the name of Sonia Doliak, who came to the citadel to pray. Stunned by her beauty and grace, he fell in love. Sonia herself was a smart and gifted young woman and had feelings of her own toward the warrior. He took her under his wing, training in the arts of battle, and in turn she was teaching about the knowledge of the modern world, bringing him books and art from the outside world. As time passed, the warrior returned with his beloved to her village where he married her. However, during this time, the power of the Dark Lord of old grew stronger again, and with his son occupied by love, the Dark Lord grew in strength until one night, under the glare of a crescent moon, he rose from his ancient tomb. His dark forces grew in numbers, and soon he attacked the nearby village. Sonia and her husband realized what had happened and set out to end his reign before it could fully begin. While Sonia protected the village, the young warrior went ahead to scout the castle and wait for Sonia so that together they could end all this darkness once and for all. Now Sonia is on her way to the castle herself, armed with the Shadow Blade, a sacred weapon given to her by her husband. She hopes to find him and end the darkness together. Oh, perfectly timed. The text went away just as it ended. <laughs> I was reading a little faster than I should have, and I also lagged a little bit at the beginning, so I would not be left with nothing to say. But that's how it goes sometimes! So, this is our main character. She's got white hair, which is interesting. She's also got a flaming sword, so uh, we've got a couple of tropes right off the bat. But, that's not what matters. What matters is the game. So let's see how the game go. And what it do! What it do, baby boo! Now we in the lost graveyard! This is like, uh, Castlevania-esque. The controls definitely don't feel Castlevania-y. But, uh, that's just fine. I'm gonna whip this bitch. Whip this bitch! Yeah! And I got a flaming orb, which does something, I guess. Oh! Skeletons! Throwing bones at me. Not okay. Alright, so we took a hit there. That's a bummer. Can I break the... is this... Oh yeah, money drops from the lamps. Castlevania, for sure. Heavily influenced. Oh, I gotta jump to keep going that way. <laughs> Smart. Smarty Dayton! Oh boy. I kinda fucked that up. Just, just kill everything. It's fine. We're gonna live. We're gonna do great things. Oh god. Oh god, those things take three hits. One, two, three! Yeah! Now I got a, I guess a checkpoint or something, along with a giant fire orb! Yes! Quite useful, I'm sure it shall be! I'm trying to press some other buttons and find out what the orb does, but uh, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like I can do anything with it at the moment! 
Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Now I've got a ninja star, and uh, all the buttons don't seem to do anything with that either. So there's quite a bit to figure out about this game, but I guess that's okay. Dodge the skeleton bones. Yeah. This is nice. We're doing pretty good. Get this skeleton out of here. I know you're coming. I know you gotta throw some bones at me. And this fucking guy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. And another one. Oh my god. What is this? A naked woman I do see. Oh, and she's got uh, plants. Luckily I got some foodies. So that's gonna be quite nice. I guess this game is really uh, boss centric. You gotta take down the bosses, that's why it showed the boss meter at the very beginning. And I really like how you can uh, hit with the sword and then spin with the same hit. That is a pretty nice addition. Not something that I could do in other games, they kind of like pause you or whatever while you're swinging. But not in this one! I can kill this naked woman! Goodbye, I'm sorry this had to happen to you. And then I get an orb. Hell yeah. I thought Sonya was like staying at the castle. Oh no, she was guarding the village. Now she has to catch up to her hubby. That's what's happening now. I know what's going on. <laughs> Stage cleared. That was relatively short. Let us do another one. It's probably going to pick up considerably. Whoop. Oh, we're going left to right in the cursed forest? That is why it is cursed. Do you not see? I'll get these coins, why not? Break the lamps! Oh god. I'm scared of bats! Please no! Kill spiders. Everything's going wonderfully. Hoop! Oh, oh. Yeah! I'm an old hand at this. What you know about me, kid? I probably gotta get up here. There we go. <laughs> Just as I try to, uh show off my skills and tell myself I'm doing something good, I do something that's not so good. So now instead of my ninja sword, I have an axe. What does the axe do? I don't understand. Can settings help me? No. <laughs> I was hoping there was like key bindings or something. Oh god. This is gonna be a tough boss because I have to duck to get these fucking spiders. It'd be so much easier if I had an axe. Are you coming back down here? Do I have to... have to lure you? Hello? Are you still up there? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there you go! Oh, God damn it! Okay. A good old double swing. And hit him again! Yeah! I'm taking a lot of fucking damage, though. That ain't too good. I guess he just comes down in his own time. Whenever he wants to come down, that's just fine. Hello? I'm down here. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh god. So many spiders. Gotta aim for the boss first and then get the, the little guys. Just avoid them. That's fine. Seems to take a really long time to come down. Hey, but I got him. But I got him. Now we got more flamey orbs that I don't know what to do with. Interesting. Okay, there's one of them big fellas. Should path the other way. And he doesn't even turn around when I'm hitting him. Look at that! <laughs> oh, delicious foods. Thank goodness. Need to remember to break these things. Are you gonna walk into the water? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Some of the uh, the dudes are too smart to walk into the water. Oh my god. There's a hidden uh, ceiling up there that I didn't see. Should I go back down there for the coin? Nah. <laughs> Whatever. I don't- I'm not a fucking charity case. Oh god. This guy's spawning skeletons. That's okay. Just kill the skeletons as soon as they spawn. Don't let them overtake me. And uh, everything should go relatively okay. Oh, he's changed direction now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come back! Come back! I have unfinished business! Alright, it's really easy to hit him when he's moving up and down like that. So that is when we will concentrate on him, and luckily, uh, while he's invincible, he's not gonna do any damage to me with his body. Or maybe he can't. Maybe he's just a, a stupid golem. Bone golem. That's what I mean. Drop a skeleton. I got the timing for this already. 
Pretty simple pattern. I hope this isn't like the final boss for this stage. But we already had a spider boss. Like I said, very boss-centric game. Did take a hit from that skeleton though. That's alright. Come on, bitch! What you wanna do? Fuck yeah. Eat my shorts, bruh. <laughs> and there it is. Another orb. We've only got two health left, but um... Completing the stage! That's the important part! Huzzah! We haven't died yet. That's only because it's level two. <laughs> Let's see what the next one is. We're doing, we're doing really fast. And uh, my health is all back up to normal. So that's pretty sweet. I'm just going to get some more of these fire orbs because I don't know why. <laughs> oh, why not? That's why. Uh-oh. Harpies! Harpies! Stay away! Oh, Lord. Okay, two hits. <laughs> That's fine. We can deal with that. How about this? A little more orbage. Awesome! Oh, Lord. Oh, please no. Oh, this one takes three hits? Game, you taught me about yourself, and then you, you took it all back. I don't understand why you do that. That's fine. I can handle one hit. Now I know these things take three. Ah! Oh, God! I hate them. Please, stay away. Oh, God, this thing's beating the shit out of me. What happened? Difficulty spike. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can deal with those things a little better this time around. I guess there's a, a secret to them that I don't quite realize yet. Jesus, and they take away three, uh, three nuggets of health. We need to be very careful around these things. Oh god. They're just wrecking me. Wrecking my shit, to be sure. Alright. That's fine, as long as I can handle this one. Huh! 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 Oh god! Jesus, fuck! <sighs> I can take two more hits from those things and then I'm dead. Please don't let there be another one. Oh, they got a little hidden, hidden hole in the floor. And thank you, game, for not letting there be another one. You listened to me, and I value that quite a lot. The skeleton ran into the spikes and died. That'll make things easy. Oh, but there's a fucking bat. Two bats! Come on down here. Come on down here, boy. I got something for you. Right here! Right here! Oh god, I need the chickens. Oh, oh delicious chicken. Alright. Accidentally dropped through the platform. Yeah, down and duck. I don't know how I accidentally hit both of those buttons, but... Miracles happen! Oh boy. Skeleton. Skeleton. Oh god. Okay, so those slightly more blue-colored ones are gonna drop out. It's a good thing I watched him. I watched, I learned. Oh, shit! I... <laughs> I almost lost it. Alright, here we go. Up. What the fuck? What? What the f... <laughs> Excuse me? What just happened? And I didn't go back to the, the checkpoint? I could have sworn I got a checkpoint in that building. Game. Don't bullshit me, game. Alright. I'm still not dealing with these harpies as well as I should. Here's another one. Come at me, bitch. Oh, oh god. Ugh. Well, I took one let's hit that time around from the harpies, so... I guess I count it as a victory. Die on the spike, skeleton! I need to remember to hit this thing. That's why. You have to touch it, and I did not touch it. Newbie mistake! That's okay. We won't make it again. Now we're past the spikes. That's for surezies. One, two, three! And uh, I think I gotta go down and then up again, because there's like a sticking out part of the ceiling. There we go. All these fire orbs. What do they do? Fall down the hole. Skeleton go down the hole. Skeleton go down the hole. Goodbye, skeleton. You go down the hole. Oh God. What the fuck? 
What am I not understanding here? There's some, uh, some dirty little secrets to this game. I don't like it. I don't trust it. It's alright. I'm gonna try it one more time. Third time's the charm. That's for sure. Come on, bruh. Oh, the fucking harpy's down there. Oh, and I took a hit from the skeleton! How could this happen? No! Stay away, stay away. Okay. Now what? A boss? Oh, Jesus! Fuck! Okay. I'm poisoned by the boss. Wow. This is pretty fucked up right here. Yep. He spawns a little dude, and uh, it proceeds to eat my shit. Well, there's a a trick to this part of the game. What an what an extreme spike in difficulty! Holy shit, that was unexpected. I was like, oh, we got this game down. We'll probably sit down and complete the whole thing. No, not gonna happen. This game is gonna wreck your butt. You think you you think you know what what you're doing? Nope. It's not gonna happen. I really do just want to try it one more time. Just prove to myself. Prove something to myself. That we can that we can make it. Okay, you're gonna spawn now? Yeah. So I don't know why I kept running all the way over this way. Stay away from him. I don't know why I keep getting poisoned. There's got to be some way that I can use my, uh, ranged weapon, or whatever I had. But I'm not sure what that way is, so I guess we're gonna die again. And I didn't even hit him that time. It's hitting him with my melee weapon that poisons me, which is the really fucking weird part. I thought it was that little bug thing that he spawns, but apparently it is not. Also, apparently I have to stand still in order to get this fucker to come up. Alright, come on, bruh. Whoa! Yeah, I hate this poison spawny shit. Yeah! Now we're gonna die again. Didn't even get him to half, half health. Wow. <laughs> what a death. Anyways, friends, this has been uh, Citadel. I really think it has some potential, although that uh, difficulty spike is something that I will have to learn to get over. That's okay. Uh, I was, I always like a difficult game, but yeah, when it's super easy at the beginning and then a uh, big spike in difficulty and I don't really know what to do uh, to get over it just yet, but that's the secret of boss battles, so I can't hate on it too much. It's a pretty interesting game. If you want to see some more, please do let me know, friends, and I would be glad to do that for you. I'll probably be playing this one in my spare time, at least uh, past the third boss, so I can keep my ego intact. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, um, I just might bring some more. Who knows? We'll see what the future holds. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Citadel. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends. And until the next time, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.